So suppose you're asked to solve this equation. So 2 times x minus 1 all divided by 5 plus 3 equals 4 plus 2x minus 7 all divided by 5. So the first thing that I would notice here is that the equation involves fractions. So I would like to clear the denominators. That means I should look for the least common denominator. Well, in this case, I only see 5 as in either denominator. So least common denominator is 5. And I'm going to clear those denominators by multiplying each part. Well, here, let me write it this way first. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 5. And when I do that, I need to distribute that 5 to each part of the sum. So this will be 5 times 2x minus 1 over 5 plus, so again, here's where you can't pick and choose. Just if we're going to multiply both sides by 5, I've got to multiply everything by 5. So 5 times 3, and then 5 times 4, plus 5 times uh, 2x minus 7 over 5. Okay, and then the fun part. So now we get to cancel. 5 cancels here, 5 cancels here. And we're left with, it's not red, 2 times x minus 1 plus 5 times 3, maybe I should have written that in parentheses, this is 15, equals 5 times 4, so that's 20, plus 2x minus 7. Since the coefficient now, when I canceled the 5, the coefficient here became 1. It's 1 times that 2x minus 7, so I don't really need the parentheses there anymore because the coefficient is 1. The co in, in previously I had 5 times that quantity so I needed parentheses around it to remind myself this is 5 times that entire quantity uh, but once it canceled I don't really need the parentheses there anymore. So next thing to do is to clean this equation up like I did in a previous example so I'm going to distribute the 2 here and then combine like terms. So this becomes 2x minus 2 plus 15 equals well, I'm, I'm ready to go ahead and combine like terms on the right side here. So I have 2x and then 20 minus 7 is positive 13. And by the way, so if you wrote the 13 first, if you just went straight across, 20 minus 7 is 13 plus 2x. Well, for addition, the order doesn't matter, right? 2 plus 1 is the same as 1 plus 2. So either way, if you wrote 13 plus 2x and I wrote 2x plus 13, we're, we're in agreement. And actually, I look at this side, when I combine like terms, this is also 2x plus 13. Now, when you see this happen, so both sides of the equation are exactly the same, this is when you know that you're dealing with an identity, which is an equation that's true for all values of x. I don't need to pick a special value of x in order for 2 times x plus 13 to equal 2 times x plus 13. Whatever number we try to put in place of x, we're going to do the exact same thing to it on both sides. So it's always going to be equal. I mean, you could try this out, plug in whatever x you want, the equation's going to be satisfied. If you didn't happen to know, so if, so if you've got your head down, you're so busy, you know, combining like terms, isolating the variable, Maybe you don't notice that both sides match, and that's okay. I mean, then you might look at, well, I've got variable on both sides. I'm going to do minus 2x to both sides in order to get the variable all in, on one side, if you're thinking that way. Well, but then the x's just go away, and you end up with 13 equals 13. So then it's really in your face that, okay, when the x's disappear from your equation, then you're left with either a true statement, in which case this, this equation is an identity, or a false statement, by the way, if this had played out differently. Here, suppose we got to this last, last step. And instead of 2x plus 13 equals 2x plus 13, let's say we had 2x plus 13 equals 2x plus 1. Well, then, again, think about it. Well, if you had your head down and you're just trying to uh, combine your like terms, so get your variables together, you do minus 2x to both sides. The x's are gone. And you end up with a false statement. 13 equals 1. So when the x's are completely removed from the equation, either you end up with a true statement, like I did over here, in which case this is an identity, or 
a false statement, like what happened here, which would mean this is an inconsistent equation. So this equation, which is a different equation, by the way, is an inconsistent equation. I just wanted to write this um, slightly different equation over here to con contrast with what happened in that original example.